What's up guys, Well and Customs here, and today we're going to take a look at the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice 2 pack. Looks pretty cool. When you first get it, it comes in this white box. It's plain. Got some stuff in the back over here, and you got to open them up. So let's do it. So taking a look at the box, it looks pretty nice. It's pretty cool looking over here. You have a button right there and a speaker right there to have a light show. It's a pretty nice package. You almost don't want to open it up. It looks so nice, but that's why you buy two. I actually have a second one coming in the mail tomorrow, so I'm not going to open that one up, but this one I will. Let's play around with it right now. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's open them up. So I took the box out of the packaging and this is pretty intense actually. I don't think this box is really made to be taken apart. Take a look at the back. A lot of wiring. Pretty, pretty intense right there. So I don't really think you're supposed to open it up. Maybe you could. I might test it later. But this is pretty much a display piece. Getting into more detail, you see the bat signal right there. It looks like they're on a roof or something or maybe not. I could be wrong. I can't really tell. Uh, but let's take a look at it with the lights off. pretty cool. I think it looks a lot better in person than it does on camera from what I could see. But that's how it is, so let's take the figures out. Alright guys, so here they are out of the packaging. Now before I start the review, one thing I want to point out is when you take these things out of the packaging, be very careful because the plastic that they're wrapped in, they're tabbed in on the bottom over here and also on the top, so you don't really want to ruin the display piece. I kind of did a bad job on the top over there as you can see, but I could fix it a little bit. But just be careful, especially if you want to pres preserve this display piece, so that's just a note for that. Alright guys, so here they are out of the box. Now before I start the review, I want to point out one thing is that Batman's legs from the knee down are a little bit warped to the e going outwards. I think it's because how they were packaged. I might actually stop the video to fix that really quickly, and it's kind of bothering me. Uh, but no big deal, either use a blow dryer or hot water. For this, specifically I use a blow dryer just at the knees aim it right there and then you could warp them straighter and uh, put it under cold water uh, but we'll put them right there and look at the size difference it's awesome uh, but another thing I want to point out look at the accessories they come with a nice uh, stand right here which is the Batman and Superman symbols which is pretty cool little pegs for their feet right there and also Batman actually comes with three batterings and they're pretty much the ones we saw in the, in the trailer recently Have you guys seen that one uh, so they basically have like these silver tips at the end right there. Let me try to zoom in a little more. There we go. They have silver tips at the end. Uh, the, all of them are actually curved. Uh, I don't know if it's the packaging or that's how they're supposed to be, but all of them are all curved. So I'm not really sure how good they would fly in the air like that. But yeah, there you go. And they, all of them fit in his right hand, which I kind of wish went in his left hand because I kind of like when he has a closed fist in his right hand to punch but yeah, that's how it is. Alright, be right back. Alright guys, we are back and I fixed the legs on Batman a little bit better at least to the point where it does not bother me at all. Uh, I could probably fix it a little bit more bring it in but I'll do that later and I also do feel like the legs are supposed to be a little bit wider anyway because especially the way the feet are angled out and you could tell also by how the lower thigh and upper thigh match up but We'll get into the more of that later, at least for now, we're going to put Batman to the side because he is the main event and we're qu uh, quickly going to take a look at Superman because he basically is just a reping of a new head sculpt. Alright, so taking a look at Henry Cavill Superman, here he is next to the Man of Steel version. As you can see, they had the same exact base but they changed the head and also the cape and repainted the figure. As you can see up close, the head sculpt is a lot better now in my opinion, that looks like Henry Cavill. Uh, going down the body, you can see the differences they made there. A lighter blue, lighter blue over here, gunmetal over there. Actually, at this buckle, if you want to call it that, it's a square now, or a rectangle. Uh, this is oval. I'm not really sure how it was in the movie. You have to double check the trailer. Uh, going down, he does have an extra line at his boot right there. But pretty much is a repaint for the body. 
But like I said before, the head scope is a lot better. And I do like the fact that he comes with a cloth cape. This is not a bad cape itself. Actually, it's pretty good. The way, uh, for Superman at least, it comes down outward like that. But I always like cloth capes. They look more natural to me. They come down straight. And uh, they actually do bring up the body a lot more in my opinion. For articulation, really quickly, it's the same exact thing. Ball joint ahead, it goes up a little bit pretty good. It doesn't go down that much. It goes left and right. Shoulders on hinge joints that rotate, so they go all the way around, up and down. Bicep swivel, one point at the elbow, swivel at the wrist, no ab joint. Waist swivel, T joint and hips, they go forward a little bit, not that much though. They go back barely, and they go in and out. Thigh swivel, one point at the knee, and he has a hinge at the ankle. So exactly the same exact one from the original Super Man of Steel figure. Alright, Batman. Alright guys, it's Batman time. Now I have to say, a lot of people will like this, a lot of people will hate it, and a lot of people will be in the middle. But either way, this is it, and this is what we're getting. This is our Batman figure from the movie. You know, I have to say, I'm leaning in, I'm actually in the middle where I'm not really sure if I like it or not. I want to like it, uh, I do like it, but there are some things that kind of bother me. We'll get into that, but I think it really relies on the head sculpt. I think that's the problem that everyone has with it. And to be honest, it isn't that bad. It isn't as bad as it looked like in the promotional pictures, especially in person. Uh, it looks pretty decent. Straight on, I think that's where people really have to examine it, maybe. Um, but there's a lot of sculpting going on, a lot of texture, which is really nice. If you can see that right there. Like, if you look at it at different angles, it looks pretty cool. Like, even before right now, if I take it out of focus, it looks pretty nice. Bring it back into focus. Yeah. Uh, but the sculpting is really good. I love the texture all over it. It looks pretty nice. Uh, going down to the body. Actually, you want to point out also there's a little dot there. But he does have, like, a 5 o'clock shadow going on. You actually do notice it from far away. Uh, but going down to the body, it looks pretty nice too. Uh, everything black on this figure has some kind of texture going on. Either it's on a cowl, or it's on the bat symbol, on his gloves, going down to his boots. They all have some kind of texture. The gray, people call it the duct tape look. I actually like it. I know a lot of people might not like it, but I actually like the new look. It does, f it does fit with the whole movie and the whole you know theme. So it looks pretty good to me. Uh, the bat symbol, going back to that, it's pretty nice. You don't really see the ears on the bat symbol right there, though. Uh, but you know it's Batman by looking at that. Uh, going down to the belt, the belt's pretty nice. It could look, it could have a little more details, in my opinion. But overall, it's not that bad. Going down to the hands, now the hands are something interesting because uh, they have all these gold dots right here that I think is supposed to symbolize like knuckles. Uh, extra padding on the knuckles. I, I know some other Batman figures actually have that, but um, over here they're not really sculpted in. On this hand, you actually see it. It is sculpted in a little better. You can definitely feel it too. Uh, but the paint apps for that is just horrible, in my opinion. It's like they, it's, it's like they took a paintbrush and just dabbed it. You know, I'm gonna have to fix that myself. I might actually even change out the hands totally. Uh, but going down to the rest of the figure. Everything else looks pretty pretty much what you expect from the movie. Um, the pants, nothing really there. But yeah, all about this whole figure is about texture, you know. Texture all over it, texture in the gray, texture in the black. Uh, that duct tape look, you know, what everyone calls it. So yeah, like I said, he looks cool. Like even looking at him like that from the side, he looks pretty cool. Going over here looks pretty cool. I think it's just a head sculpt that people are just having a problem accepting, really. Uh, people, you know, you maybe you could swap out the head and fix it, but you're gonna have to get all that texture in somehow. It might be a little bit harder to sculpt that. Uh, but, you know what? You're just gonna have to accept it, maybe. And maybe it might grow on you. It's, it's growing on me, I have to admit. It's not that bad. Taking a look at the cape really quickly. On the back, it's a nice, shiny, kind of fake leather look right there. On the back of it, it actually is more of a darker felt, uh, feel to it so it's pretty cool different materials right there taking a look at the back of his body as well you can see how it looks like and also I wanted to point out the whole knuckle thing now this is like another Batman figure I have and you can see the knuckles on him 
wants to focus. No, it doesn't. You could kind of see it a little bit better. They're silver, they're gunmetal, looks a lot better. I actually might just take off these hands and put them on this Batman because I have two of these. So. And before I go into articulation, I just want to point out the body sculpt. The body sculpt is pretty nice. He is bigger and you know looks more buff than Superman. He has really big shoulders over here, which is nice. Uh, nice biceps. You know, he's not like cut looking, but he definitely has a lot of mass, which is a good thing. For articulation, he does have a ball joint in the head. It goes up and down barely, which is a shame. I do wish I had better articulation there. It does go left and right, no problems. These shoulders have hinge joints that rotate, so they go up and down, in and out, no problems there. Bicep swivel, one point at the elbow, a wrist swivel right there. He does have an ab joint. It isn't the greatest, but at least we have something there. It goes back and it goes forward that much. Uh, so it could be better, but at least we have something, like I said. Uh, waist swivel right there. T-jointed hips, DC style. Kind of reminds me of the Dark Knight Rises Bane figure. Like they're there, but they don't, they're not the greatest. So it only goes up like that much, which is a shame. But at least, like I said, it could be worse, you know. Uh, it goes back just a little bit, but barely. In and out, no problem. Thigh swivel right there, knee one point right there, and ankle hinge right there. So, you know, it's standard DC figure articulation. Uh, you can still always get into great poses overall. Uh, I think he looks really good overall, like I said before. You know, people might not like it, people might hate it. You know, once you have it in your hand, your whole perspective on it changes because, you know, it's starting to grow on me, I have to admit. Uh, and you could definitely get into great poses like this. When you bring his head down, his eyes disappear, and he definitely looks like Batman right there, which is pretty cool. A couple of tips I want to point out on his toes. He does actually have gold tips on them, as you can see right there. I'm not sure why. Maybe they're supposed to symbolize armor or something or metal when he kicks. Either way, I'm going to paint it black because it bothers me. And another thing, his cape. You know, Batman always has spikes at the end, at the tips of his cape. This one, he doesn't have that crazy one, but... It's there. It's really subtle though. Uh, he barely has anything, but it is actually there as you can see. But just very subtle. Like I said before, a lot of people will like it, a lot of people will hate it, and a lot of people will be in the middle. I myself right now, I love this figure actually. I have to admit, when I first opened it, I wasn't too sure. I wanted to like it, but I had to try to convince myself basically. Doing this whole review, it definitely grew in me a lot. And like I said before, the most controversial part of this figure is the head sculpt. But like I said in this review, uh, review, it really isn't that bad. I know a lot of people saw the figure in the promotional pictures before Comic Con and thought it looked horrible. You know, you saw this whole video, it really isn't that bad, at least in my opinion. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion, but, you know, it's a good figure. Even the sculpt of the figure, even the whole figure itself it looks great. The sculpting, you know, you might not like the design. But the sculpting is still pretty good. Uh, even on the grays, all the blacks, there's so much sculpting and texture on this figure that it looks really nice. And yeah, like I said before, it has grown on me and I like it. Uh, definitely the articulation could be a tad better, but it's all there. So you can still get into great poses overall. And you know, you don't really mind it really. Ready to fight, throw his battering, beat up Superman, you know. You know, one honest question you could ask is, does this look like Ben Affleck Batman? Now, I have to say, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. You know, in the trailer, in pictures, Ben Affleck with the cow on, he has a really big head. He really does. If you lo really look at it, the head is huge with the cow on. So, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Definitely on the side, it looks pretty much like it. You know, ba Batman in the movie... He has a really, very specific look that we've never seen before, more like in the comic book. So if you're going that route, he definitely looks like Batman. And uh, either way, I don't really mind it. I know they tried hard with the 5 o'clock shadow. I really got to get rid of that dot right there. But um, yeah, overall, it's really up to your own opinion how you think it looks. But especially with the eyes being you know, in the shadows of the cowl, it's a good looking Batman head. 
Size comparisons here, they are next to each other side by side. Batman is a lot bigger than Superman. He's a lot more mass muscle on him. Uh, definitely is taller as well, which I like a lot. And I know a lot of people do like that fact that Batman is actually bigger than Superman. I know it's, it's the opposite in the comic books, but um, for the movie, be more realistic, I think, I think it's pretty good. Uh, he should, you know, he's Batman, you know, he's huge, he's in that peak human physical shape, so I think it looks pretty good. And they definitely did a great job in my opinion right here. Size comparison here is Batman and Superman with some of the other DC figures I have lying around. As you can see, they are in a 6 inch scale, so they look pretty good overall, and I had no problems there. Now here is a size comparison with some of the other DC Universe figures. They don't look that bad, maybe you want to take out uh, Superman. Batman doesn't look that bad with them all, to be honest. That's just my opinion. And here they are side by side with some of the other Marvel movie figures, as you can see. Who ever thought that we ever have this actual movie figures of our favorite characters side by side? Alright guys, so like I said before, these are great figures. Superman, in my opinion, is a great improvement from the last one. Batman, you guys already know. I wasn't too sure about it. Now I love it. You guys can have your own opinion. You might not like it, which is fine, but I actually like it. I think it's a great looking figure. And I can't wait to get my second pair. I'm going to have that on my shelf so I can just press the button and not open it. Um, the biggest thing I'm going to change to this probably is the hands like I showed you guys before with the other Batman hands with the knuckles on it. But that's about it. I'm not going to change anything, anything else. I'm just going to accept it how it is. I think it looks pretty cool. And if you guys are wondering why I have that tumbler in the background this whole time. And this is why I had it out. I'm working on a picture really soon so hopefully it'll come out nicely. Obviously I had to fix the lighting and background and stuff like that but you guys get the idea. And that's about it guys, so thanks for watching the review. Share it, like it, get it out there. And like always, comment, criticize, subscribe, do whatever you want to pay attention. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go to wildandcustoms.com. If you liked the video, get a thumbs up. Peace.